the level of competency is the probability the interval estimate contains the population parameter so like uh, the last uh, video here so we want to find out uh, is uh, centering on sample mean value 90 90% 95% 99% uh, interval so that we can justify this uh, parameter area value based on sample mean okay so uh, in order to find confidence level C we have to use the Z score otherwise the normal curve is a sort of unique distribution so we cannot actually utilize all the cases so we need to determine um, z score value based on 90% 99% also 95% here okay so based on this concept we know this is u equal to 0 and we want to construct this center area equal to either 90% 95% or 99% here. Now let's think about 90% uh, first. Okay. Then, based on this, you can find two z score negative z and positive z. So go to z table. We can analyze which z score has center area 90%. Okay. If center is 90%, which means uh, the two tail, the sum of two tail will be. 10%, right? But we determine this is negative z and positive z, which means uh, two tail share exactly the same area. So you divide by two here. Then it becomes each tail has 5%, right? You switch to decimal, then it becomes 0 0.0500. All right. So I go to z table and I find which z score has 0 0.0500. So, as you see, we could find two uh, z-score z value, 0 0.0505, and then 0 0.0495. You find corresponding z-score, then becomes negative 1.64, and then negative 1.65, okay? So, so negative 1.64 has... 0.0505 and then negative 0 0.65 equal to 0 0.0495 okay because we couldn't find exact 0 0.0500 we found two close value so we need to find which one is closer to 0 0.0500 so I'm gonna write here 0 0.0500 and find their distance value okay if you find your distance you will get 0 0.0005 and this is also 0 0.0005 which which means 2z score is exact distance from 0 0.0500 therefore in this case you need to find the average of two different z score so negative 1.645 and 64 plus negative 1.65 divided by 2 then you will get negative 1.645 okay so this is negative 1.645 that will be 1.645 since those two are same number but different sign we determine z 90% equal to 1.645 if you do same procedure then you will get z.95 equal to 1.96 z.99 equal to 2.575 and these values are consistent for all large samples okay then let's look at one example a college admission director wishes to estimate the mean age of all students currently enrolled. 
the random sample of 20 actually uh, I'm sorry but I'm gonna switch this to 60 because uh, 20 is small sample so sample of 60 students the mean age is found to be 22.9 years from past studies the standard deviation is known to be 1.5 years and the population is normally distributed construct a 90% 95% and 99% confidence interval of the population mean age. Okay, this time I want to construct 95% and I'm going to leave A and C for your side. Okay, so in order to construct 95% we need to find error first. Uh, as we discussed before, uh, sample mean doesn't describe population mean accurately so we want to make interval so they justify uh, population parameter will be included in the interval which means based on the sample mean we need to find error first error means interval from the sample mean so uh, E is defined as this formula here. I know this formula looks kind of complicated so I'm going to explain a little more detail. So to find error E equal to first of all you need to determine what percent confidence interval. We say 95% so I'm going to put Z 95% and time we need to uh, multiply the margin of error which is sigma over sample size which is root to n so this case error will be 95 percent how was the 95 percent comes to level value it was 1.96 so you put 1.96 time sigma 1.5 over root 60 okay then you will get point three seven nine five five so you can estimate point three seven actually three eight zero okay all right then now based on the sample mean I'm gonna add and subtract point three eight zero to the right or to the left okay so based on this sample mean we can construct x bar plus e and then x bar minus e therefore this case sample mean was 22.9 so 20 so oh, sorry this is population mean so population mean is between 22.9 plus 0 0.380 and then 22.9 minus 0.3 80. Okay, if you calculate, you will get mu is between twenty-two point five two and then twenty-three point twenty-eight. That's the confidence, the confidence interval for this data set. Good.